Welcome back and thank you for checking out this bonus edition of the 12 Kyle podcast. I am 12 Kyle. Check this out. If you've been following the podcast, you know that I mentioned on the previous bonus episode that this month I will be making um, somewhat of a series of the Let Me Sexplain uh, series of episodes. Um, what this is, is I stumbled across something on the internet and this site was giving people an opportunity to talk about their uh, experiences, some of them sexual uh, or relationship wise, where they would, you know, chime in and ask people for advice. And, you know, I found some of the answers and stuff to be totally comical. So I was like, hey, you know what? I can get on here and talk about this. And again, full disclosure, I'm not a marriage counselor. I'm not a relationship advisor. I'm, I'm nothing. I just talk on this podcast. <laughs> um, so I'll read to you the following scenario, and it reads as follows. During a weekly live chat, one woman told the story about her how her younger sister ruined her first engagement soon after graduating from college. After some years passed, the older sister moved on and she decided to invite her sister to her second wedding ceremony. Choosing not to invite her to the reception or to make her a bridesmaid. Now, the younger sister believed that she deserved to be a bridesmaid after cheating with her older sister's first fiance. Let me say that again. The younger sister believed she deserved to be a bridesmaid after cheating with her sister's first fiance. And I quote, I ended my first engagement after finding out my 19 year old sister had been sleeping with my uh, with my fiance. The woman who we will refer to as Jane explained. He and I just graduated college and it devastated me. Jane said that when she confronted her sister about what happened, she lied and, quote, tried to act like a little angel being innocent close quote, saying that she had been seduced by her, her fiance instead of the situation occurring the other way around. But several, several of her friends gave me proof that my sister had been gunning for him since she was 17. Jane revealed for three years, her sister had been sending texts to her fiance, trying to seduce him and give him savage looks and saying that he could do better than Jane. Quote, when she learned he would be joining me at the family home, she would go on and on about her sexy pajamas and better bikinis, she said as an example. Close quote. Their confrontation put a permanent estrangement between Jane and her sister and a difficult one between Jane and her parents, but she decided after several years she would try again. Jane says, quote, I am now engaged to a wonderful man who adores me. As a gesture, I invited my sister to my wedding, but I did not include her in my wedding party and she is not able to attend my reception. My sister took personal offense that I didn't ask her to be a bridesmaid. Close quote. Now, naturally. Jane would have no reason to ask her younger sister to be a bridesmaid, but the younger sister believed that because she was Jane's only sister, <laughs> that she deserved to wear the title of bridesmaid. Quote, I asked if she had a head injury because that was the only excuse for her actions. Jane retorted when her sister caused a fuss. Quote, she ruined my first engagement. Why would I want her within 50 feet of my new one? Close quote. Now, the younger sister claimed that she was a kid back then, but Jane wasn't having it. So she ended the conversation there, but not before the sister complained to their parents. Their parents are on the younger sister's side. So she rescinded her invitation to her younger sister permanently. So 
let's backtrack for a second. She initially said, okay, you can come, but you can't be in, you can't be a bridesmaid and you can't come to the reception. And so when the sister went to the parents, she said, okay, you know what? You can't come at all. <laughs> now, the only problem is that Jane is now pregnant. And she's afraid that her parents, because of her decision to, you know, ban her sister, her parents won't come to her wedding. And now here's the here is the big dilemma. What should she do? Um, this is simple to me. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't know uh, how as a parent, you actually side with the younger sibling because they were dead wrong. And I mean, like people make mistakes and, you know, I think the first fiance he had, it was well within his right to, you know, turn her down. That's on him. I mean, like as a man, you got to know that it's coming from every, every, <laughs> It's like the bullets in the matrix. It's coming from everywhere. You got to duck and dodge. I mean, that's what it is. And now you, I know you don't expect to get it from, you know, the sister. Cause I mean, that's, she's about to be family, but she was clearly coming at you and you just fell for it. And, you know, obviously it ended the engagement or what have you. And I'm assuming that because the sister and the, the ex fiance aren't together, that that's all it was, was just sex. But no, the parents are wrong here. You can't side with the little sister. The little sister was dead wrong. Now, if she made concessions to let her come to the wedding, cool. I think it should stop there. Uh, should she be at the reception? Mm, nah. <laughs> and I think as I um as I look this over, I think the thing that kind of screamed out to me was the privilege. <laughs> like she's like i deserve to be that no you don't people like to use that word deserve you don't deserve shit you get what you get you know that's the problem with the people in this world now everybody think they deserve something you you get what you work for or you get what's given to you you don't deserve shit now you know we we don't um we can't control who's in our family and i mean her sister did some foul shit right and i don't know if um you know, I, I'm assuming that she got past it because she moved on. But, you know, you forgive, but you never forget. So, like, nah. And I'm not mad at her for not inviting her to the wedding reception. I mean, I think it's really big and bold of her even to invite her to the wedding. But going to the parents, not, now you're you're asking the parents to do something that, you know, they really aren't prepared to do and that's get in between the middle of two warring siblings because you know parents at least they should <laughs> love that love their children equally you know i tell my kids no, I'm, we we gonna we all together like so no nah, it ain't gonna be no dividing <laughs> but in this scenario right here no nah, i don't blame her for not wanting her sister near her man because she's ruined you know her relationship with her sister she's she's betrayed the trust i'll put it like that i don't know what kind of relationship they have but she's betrayed the trust and once you betray the trust then you know it's it's whatever she's just that chick in the street she's not even my she may not even see her as her sister and, and asking the parents to get involved you know that's that's even worse and asking i mean because in that in essence you're asking the parents to choose um you know and now you're putting you know it's they mentioned that she was pregnant and now you're asking, you know, the parents to choose and, and step in and become the referee. And that's not fair to them. I'm now I use the word fair with a caveat, but that's not it's not cool. It's not cool. And I, I will give Jane credit. She's probably bigger than a lot of you. <laughs> Cause if your sister slept with your man. And you knew about it and it ruined and she was your sister was coming at your man, not the other way around. But your sister was coming and scheming on your man. How would you feel? What would you do? I'm willing to bet. 
for most of the people that are listening to this podcast. It wouldn't be pretty. <laughs> I don't think it'd be pretty at all. But yeah, so um, no, nah, this this one's pretty simple to me. I mean, like it's it's pretty clear cut and dry. I think she was I think Jane was being the bigger person by inviting her sister to at least come to the wedding. But no, you can't come to the reception. No, you can't come to the reception. No, you can't. And you can't be a bride. I mean, like, I guess the privilege in her would even want the younger sister even want to be at the wedding, you know, or be in the wedding. I deserve to be a bride. No, you don't. You 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 lost all of those privileges when you decided to sleep with her then fiance, the first guy. And, you know, nah, you you don't deserve shit. <laughs> you deserve what I'm going to give. What you deserve is an ass whipping. That's what you really deserve. But it sounds like, and I'm assuming because there were no ages given other than the fact that her sister was young, it was like 19. I'm assuming that Jane is, you know, probably well into her 20s or 30s by now. And um, nah, yeah, that's what you, you deserve. If you deserve anything, you deserve an ass whooping. But, you know, she's probably mad and, you know, to keep the peace and everything. She just chilled or, you know, didn't want to take it there. And that's understood. But no, nah, like I said, that was pretty easy. Um, you cheat with the fiance, you don't get to be the bridesmaid. Sorry. You cheat with the fiance, you don't get to come to the wedding reception. If you cheat with the fiance, you're lucky to even be in the in in the building. <laughs> when your sister gets married because technically and in some way shape or form and in some people's eyes she could have killed you <laughs> so be glad that you're still here <laughs> but hey ladies and gentlemen thank you for checking out this bonus edition of the 12 kyle podcast i'm your boy 12 kyle i'll catch you guys next time 5k